Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today I am doing a continuation of my skincare and I'm talking about my favorite masks that I've been using recently. Um, yeah, gonna get right into it, but I guess I should quickly talk about what I'm wearing. This um, is like a dress romper situation. Um, love it. I got it from ASOS. I'll link below if you're interested in what it looks like. It's on my Instagram. Um, this top is actually from Patricia Fields, um, their old location in NoHo or Nolito. They only have a um, online store now, I think. I haven't been there or even attempted to go back, but I love it. It's amazing. It's like black nail polish emoji. So it's totally about that. This is by HRH Collection. Um, I think it's her Coronation Choker. I wear it a lot. Um, and then the lip I'm currently wearing is by Lipstick Queen. This guy here, I'm obsessed with it. It is called um, Red Sinner. And I really like, making sure it's not on my teeth, really like the formula of this one. It's very creamy. It's definitely not a matte matte but feels really nice on the lips. I haven't worn it like for very long yet, so I'll definitely have to let you know, but a big fan of their overall lipsticks. Um, anyway, so I'm not talking about lipsticks this video, and I'm gonna try to make this video short, so um, I'm gonna go into what I use before I start my face mask, and this one is called um, the Restoring Cleanser and Makeup Remover. So basically I use my cleansing balm that I talked about in my skincare routine. And then I use this one in the shower. Um, and lately I've been doing face masks pretty much like two or three times, um, no, more than that, three or four times a week. But I've been doing them a lot when I um, am uh, doing hair masks. So I'll cleanse my face, I'll put on the conditioner, and then um, I will get out of the shower and then I'll put a face mask on. So, um, I'm gonna go right into it. And uh, my favorite one recently has been this one. And this one I know you can purchase in Sephora. I was gifted this by the same um, PR company that I got a couple of my other um, products from our, that I included in my other video. But I really, really like it. Um, it is called the Skin Smoothing Mask. And I am a big fan of anything that <laughs> says that it will do that. Um, so definitely a big fan of this one. I have noticed it's made a huge difference. Um, I spent a lot of time in front of the camera because I'm a photographer and so I kind of have to. Um, and I do notice I really like using these. This one specifically or the Glamgo mask. And this is the very popular silver mask that everyone's been using. Um, I found out about it via Jeffree Star to be honest. Um, he always uses this one and I love his like silver surfer mask situation and I was obsessed with it and so I started using it and I definitely have noticed a huge difference if I feel puffy or um, you know I, I know I have a date which I'm not dating right now but if I was dating I'll use one of those right before and I feel like it just helps tighten get rid of any fine lines things like that big fan of those I also really like which I don't have because I've only been using the samples I need to go buy it but I've been sort of like thrifty um, is the thirsty mud mask by Jeff uh, Jeffrey star by um, Glamgo really 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 recommend that one too I'm a big fan of like layering face masks so I'll use two masks while I'm deep conditioning and I usually will use like one of these or this one or I will use um, this one, which um, is the First Aid Beauty. And I recently just started using this again, so I can't say that I'm like in, like head over heels in love with it. But I used it yesterday after my mukbang video that I posted on Tuesday. And admittedly, I didn't eat as well as I probably should have because I'm allergic to gluten. But I have noticed that my skin looks really good today and I was kind of worried that it was gonna have a breakout. Um, but this one is a purifying mask that helps minimizing pores, oil control, and mattify. I will say the only thing about this one is, I mean, this is a peel off mask too, right? But this one, I put it on and usually I leave it on for like as long as it takes to dry and I left it on when I was peeling it off. It actually kind of hurt. It was like a little painful. So I will say that was kind of frustrating when I took it off. Um, like I had to use like a wet washcloth and like remove it all before I put another mask on. So 
I don't know anyone have suggestions with that or have they used in the past and had the same experience or maybe I'm just stupid and not like I shouldn't leave it on that long that's probably it as well anyway I used to love first aid beauty I used all their products when my skin was really really bad before I realized that it was actually the food I was eating but um, this is like the last product I have so anyway um, going on talking about another mask I use and love and I'm like almost gone with this one this guy is the Bosha and you can't even read it it's a Bosha um, charcoal pore pudding mask um, really 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 like this one I'm almost done with it but I found that like if I'm outside a long t like if I have a long day and I'm outside you know eight ten hours whatever because I shoot on location mostly um, and my skin just feels like filthy and dirty and like especially like right around you know period time too I will use this and I feel like my pores really feel a lot cleaner afterwards um, highly recommend this also like after I get back from traveling I tend to use this one too I have noticed my skin just feels a lot cleaner after I use it um, it helps during the you know woman time too um, what I typically use after um, those peel off masks or anything like this because I tend I really really like to layer masks so like I'll do two in a row is this mask which is a bamboo um, water lock um, it's a moisture mask and I don't leave it on like some people recommend you can like leave it on at night but I like to leave it on for 20 30 minutes remove it and then put my like routine on but the texture is really great it's very jelly smells really clean doesn't really smell like too much but a really sweet boy in Sephora Union Square showed me this mask and um, this is the first time I've ever heard about um, this brand before so I was really curious to try it and I love it so far um, I will say I have been using the thirsty mud recently like I was kind of like I had a couple samples like two or three I've been reaching for those more so than this one um, but now I just kind of need to like carve through this and like see if it makes a huge difference but I have noticed when I use it the next morning I wake up I don't feel like my eye bags look as bad my skin feels a little bit more like fuller and richer richer it just doesn't feel as like dehydrated so I highly highly recommend that one and oh two more things I'm almost done this guy which is a tiny little sample so um, I got a face mask at the Sicily location in um, the West Village um, on Bleecker Street like last year and they gave me a few samples and I didn't end up using them until just recently and I use this and it's amazing like I feel like my skin I actually used it last night and I had a couple other ones I like two of these um, and it's very expensive I think it's like hundred and fifty dollars for this guy or not this guy but like the bigger size but I feel like my skin just feels plumper like I feel younger looking today um, I know I know I'm only 32 so I'm not like some old hag but I definitely recommend this and I kind of feel like I want to buy the full size so I might splurge I need to go through these other guys first but if anyone else has used this and has any other recommendations for like hydration let me know I like anything that helps plump firm blah 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 and one other thing that um, I have been using when I'm time of the month situation or if I'm just feeling like I'm about to get a pimple or like maybe my skin isn't really doing what it needs to be doing which to be honest I have pretty good skin so it doesn't happen that often um, you can hate me all you want but I have other issues the redness always never leaves me um, but this is a skin caring skin clearing breakout spot treatment really really like this product um, this is by the same brand as this guy so how I'll use this is I'll apply it to clean skin and I'll leave it on for like five minutes you know while I shave my legs or um, while I brush my teeth in the shower um, Am I the only other person that does that? Is that gross? I just, it takes a while and I have like sonic care and I, I'm in there for like two, three minutes. I don't know, anyway. Comment below if I'm not the only fucking weird one. Sorry, I cursed. Ugh. Um. Anyway, really recommend this. I can't leave it on for that long because my skin is kind of sensitive and I have noticed it starts to kind of burn, but it definitely helps during the time of the month, so recommend trying this one again I think this um, is at 
like higher grade um, Walgreens or uh, Dwayne Reed's or anything like that. Um, I know that there's one in the city that definitely carries it. I've seen it there. And yeah, that is it. Um, admittedly, this is the second time I filmed this. The first time I realized the sound did not work because I was using a um, new microphone. So, and this is what I normally look like. Well, not normally, because I don't do my hair. I don't know how to curl my hair. Um, but I had it done today by Glam and Go. And she got my head shaved down, but this is what the gray actually looks like. Just in case you were curious. Girl is gray. So yeah, um, thanks for tuning back in. Really appreciate it. Um, if you want to subscribe, please feel free to down below. Um, and yeah, it's been fun so far. I definitely am looking forward to when I have a nicer camera and figuring out that business. I'm curious, like people on YouTube, do you, what's your recommendation for like a good camera that I can use for vlogging and filming? I was thinking about the A, the Sony A, 5100 5, or the 6000. Um, I have a Canon 5D Mark III and I'm looking to figure out a setup for that at home while I'm filming but I kind of want to start vlogging too so like if it's dual purpose sure down for that um, but anyway yeah and that's it. How was your fourth? Did you have a good day? Are you enjoying the week? All right, this is awkward now. Anyway, um, okay, have a good day. All right, bye guys.